Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first El Dorado Championship Wrestling Raw of December. You're riding down the road to WrestleMania is about to kick off. And what a night we have in store for you here. As you hear our brand new theme song brought to you by the Chicago Hardcore Band Ruthless, fronted by the one and only AJ Hawks. This is Bad Blood. We're opening up tonight with some Bad Blood Kyle Parks. Just coming up a little bit short to BTB as the number one contender for the Hardcore Championship. Now he takes on Justin Natural, who's been shooting up the ranks here, earning a spot, winning the NXT Battle Royal Invitational to join Raw. Speaking of AJ Hawks and BTB, after that, one on one in action here. Looks like a hot feud coming up between these two. AJ Hawks is still looking to get back into that World Heavyweight Championship title picture. Well, BTB looks to take out the Nasty Bones in two weeks at NXT's No Mercy in a hardcore match for the Hardcore Championship. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, if you miss Survivor Series, you need to stop what you're doing right now and go back to ECW Network. Speaking of Survivor Series, The Judge, that's right, The Judge, and Mike Giacchino defeated the Paragon of Wrestling and Ryan Paul Jones, the extreme icon for the judge to earn a shot at TLC only four weeks away for his co-ownership of the company to earn his co-ownership back. What's well, going to happen when he takes on the Paragon tonight in a rematch? He was the man who eliminated the Paragon of Wrestling in that match at Survivor Series for the winning pinfall. Connecting with the Judgment Slam live on pay-per-view there. And ladies and gentlemen, like I said, if you missed it, you need to go back and catch up on the ECW Network right now. Survivor Series was one hell of a show. And speaking of, another grudge match boiling over. It was supposed to be a six-man tag match. The Ryan Osmero of the Kuminati took out Jerry McGlasson backstage, only to be taken out by Mike Giacchino himself. Both men removed prematurely from the matchup. Tonight, Jeremy McGlasson and Ryan Osmero will settle the score. And then our main event of the night, ladies and gentlemen, McNasty Bones, the tyrant, the first ever unified hardcore world heavyweight champion in ECW. Unexpectedly being the first man out in a triple threat Extreme Rules Elimination match, eliminated by AJ Hawks. Kyle Cross, the newly crowned world heavyweight champion, puts the title on the line again in a steel cage match, first fall to the finish versus the new, the newly scorned ex champion and current hardcore champion. Still hardcore champion the Nasty Bones. Our show is getting ready to kick off here, ladies and gentlemen, and it is going to be non-stop action here. Thank you for tuning in on the ECW Network, as always. Getting ready for our opening contest. Here we go. Back from pressure break. Justin Natural with a kick in the midsection. And Artist and Kyle Parks to the outside. Kyle Parks, the resilient veteran here, the first year of ECW, former tag team champion. They set a record as a tag team champion with Cameron Edwards, who is still out on an injury. Goes into the far ropes. Oh, misses the running in Zaguri. What's this going to be? A nice slap and a spinning heel kick. Kyle Parks staying on top of the action here. Both men wearing similar colors of Kyle Parks. Is the one in the darker colored trunks. Justin Natural is wearing all red. Look at this to the top rope. Countered by Kyle Parks. Setting up to a superplex here. Second rope. Look, oh! Vertical stall. Oh, and a brain buster. Right on the top rope. Brain buster from Kyle Parks. Goes behind. Countered by Justin Natural. Blocks the drop kick. Kyle Parks is on top of his game. Looks like he's showing some more determination here. Since losing the Tag Team Championships there to the Paragon and Ryan Asriel, Kyle Parks has definitely been a man on a mission to earn that he, to prove that he could uh, stand on his own in singles competition here. A heated rivalry throughout November with BTB, losing the big matchup at Survivor Series to BTB. Oh, nice, another spinning heel kick from a standing position, look at this, drop kick, both feet to the face. Justin Natural sends him across. Block. Kick to the midsection. Kyle Parks is looking very good here. Oh, Justin Natural. Iris missed the Springboard Moonsault. Misses the Spinning Hill Kick. The ultimate blonde moment has just occurred. 
And a knee drop there from Justin Natural. Another good kick. Good Kyle Parks. Oh, catches a foot and hits a drop kick of his own. Nice form and elevation. Look at those spinning head scissors. Justin Natural is looking like he's starting to run out of a little bit of steam here. This fight wears on. Kyle Parks, nice counter from Justin Natural. Look at this. Oh, works on the arm. Going to the top rope. What's this going to be? Oh, nice. Corkscrew body press. Only getting a two count, though. Spinning heel kick for Kyle Parks. Really using the uh, educated feet offense here tonight. Face buster from Justin Natural. Spinning heel kick again from Kyle Parks. Look at this. Going for the submission now. Arm wrench, modified camel clutch, working on the arm and neck. And look at this. Lift him up. Oh, a suplex backbreaker from Justin Natural. That might be all for Kyle Parks. And Justin Natural missing. That shooting star stomp. And look at this. Super kick from Kyle Parks. Could have him one. Oh, Justin Natural gets out at two. Drop kick to the back from Kyle Parks. Drop kick to the knee from Justin Natural. Oh, misses the uh, rotating form two times. Justin Natural's springboard moonsault. Two count. Very close action here. Look at this. Oh. Another knee drop to the face. Going to the outside. Oh, super kick. Caught in midair. We've seen that before. Walk break. Justin Natural survives again. Spinning heel kick. Spinning heel kick missed both times. Both of these men, similar offense. Nice snap mirror from Kyle Parks. Shot to the midsection. Drop toe holds from Kyle Parks. Who is going to win this opening contest on Raw here tonight? This. Oh. Shrugs him off with a punch. Oh, rolls through. Victory roll. Reversal one, two, three. Oh, Justin Natural reverses the momentum into the pinfall. Kyle Parks could not be happy about that. Look at this. Super kick. Did you see these exchanges of offense here? Look at this moonsault. Almost halfway across the ring. Thought he had him off of it. Watch this right here. It's just a natural. Oh, there's the counter. And look at this. Counter's back. One, two, and three. What a victory for the up and coming Justin Natural. As we prepare for what is surely going to be a show still up next, BTB and AJ Hawks. You see the former NXT Tag Team Champion, former ECW Hardcore Champion, calls himself the Madman Technician. And he is a hot commodity right now in the pro wrestling world and the ECW. His band, Ruthless, just now signing a deal via theme songs for no other no, no, than ECW's Raw and SmackDown shows. Here comes his opponent tonight. Man who made a mark on NXT holding every title on NXT at one point in time. Not at the same time, but in succession. First ever NXT champion. Second, excuse me, second ever television champion of NXT. And a former NXT tag team champion. That's why this BTB, ladies and gentlemen. The Fresh Prince of ECW is in the house. This matchup's about to get underway. Here we go. Oh, and AJ Hawks opens with a brutal shot to the back of the head. Now working on the arm, this is AJ Hawks' method in another kick to the head. AJ Hawks will ground you however possible and work 
your arms until he can clip you with the wing clipper. Misses a spinning kick, hill kick, look at this. BTB, back elbow, oh, and a jawbreaker. To be a real test for both of these men. Oh, drop kick hit them both down. Awkward landing there for Edgy Hawks, but he hits a running elbow. Oh, the springboard drop kick nearly cutting BTB in half. And back to work on that elbow again. We've seen AJ Hawks with some impressive submission victories throughout his career here in ECW. Drop hold. Like this again to the on. Oh! And BTB is starting to feel it. Spinning heel kick taking him down. Fighting him off that time. Oh, and the knee to the face. And this is AJ Hawks' ball game right now. Look at this. Oh, back elbow. Nice counter from BTB trying to get back in this match. He's holding his own, fighting AJ Hawks off. Oh, like a nice running forearm there from BTB. Side headlock, counter, and a drop toe hold again from AJ Hawks. Another stomp, another drop kick. AJ Hawks is all over him. Look at this, slingshots him out of the monkey flip. Oh, and there's a nice dive across with one. Only one count, nice drop kick again. BTB is definitely feeling it. Look at this. Oh, there's the cliffhanger. Flying clothesline, self catapulted. Unable to pin BTB. Look at this, running forearm. Shot to the midsection. Counter by BTB. Pick him up. And double axe handle right to the shoulder blades. Spin kick kick misses by AJ Hawks. Look at this, goes behind BTB. This is going to be, oh, counter. AJ Hawks is on top of his game every time. Running Famouser. Dropping the leg across the back of AJ Hawks. Oh, and a back body drop from BTB. Look at this. Knee drop. Double knees to the face. BTB is in a lot of trouble. And there's another Famouser fighting back into it. What's this going to be? Snapmare driver. Down goes BTB. That might be all. One. Two. Three. Oh, and that's it. AJ Hawks puts him away with the snapmare driver. Very impressive. Quick victory. Look at this. Slingshots into a clothesline. Back body drop counter there by BTB. Look at this. This did it right here. Hook in the neck and right on top of his head. That will do it to you every time. There's a three count, and AJ Hawks picks up the win tonight, looking impressive over the always entertaining BTB. What a win for that man. You know, AJ Hawks coming back fresh off nearly being burned alive at Hell in a Cell, coming so close to winning the World Heavy Championship. A second time at Survivor Series, being the last man in the ring with the now champion Kyle Cross. AJ Hawks has got to be wanting another shot, one more shot at that World Heavyweight Championship, and he's probably thinking TLC. I've got to go with TLC if I'm guessing. But here we go. This is going to be one interesting match, a lot of fallout here. As we await the arrival of the judge. And there he is. He said he's not on a mission to stop the Illuminati. He's not on a mission to stop the architect. He's on a mission to bring the extreme icon back. He said the architect is not Ryan Paul Jones. The extreme icon is what ECW needs. He's not going to stop until he wins at TLC and beats some sense into the other co-owner of this company. And you can't even fathom what will happen if the judge loses at TLC and is forever doomed to being just an engineering competitor and loses all management and all administrative rights of this company. Everything is riding on TLC for the judge right now. He passed the first test. He's defeated several members of Illuminati, including this man, the Paragon of Wrestling. 
That's your longest reigning World Heavyweight Champion, ladies and gentlemen. Second ever World Heavyweight Champion here at UCW. Defeated Brian Bain back at over the limit in May. Held the title all the way to SummerSlam in August. Undefeated. Very impressive resume. And now one half of the UCW World Tag Team Champions with Ryan Osriel. A lot of bad blood between these two men right here. As you see the look from the Paragon of Wrestling. And this is going to be an all-out war between the Judge and the Paragon. Right up here next on the ECW Network. Oh, drop kick from the Paragon Wrestling. And we're already underway. Look at this. Nipsey Man. Oh, counter by the Judge. Powerbomb counter by Ryan. Or excuse me, by the Paragon there. And the big swing. Wasting no time. Just take it to the Judge as he pops his neck. Snap mare. Drop kick again. The Paragon means business tonight. Look at this. Oh, back elbow. And a side kick to the head. The Paragon is all over the Judge right now. The Judge little counter. Powerful whip of his own. Go behind. Nice forearm shot. Back elbow st shrugging him off. The Judge with a spine buster. Taking him down in the center of the ring. Shifting the momentum back and forth in this match. Look, oh, and a face buster from the Judge. Uh, and a drop tall hold down goes the judge. Look at this knee to the midsection. Irish whip. The judge sits all the way to the floor. Oh, and a dive across the body from Paragon misses. In this match, there will be counts and disqualifications. They need to be careful out there. As the Paragon, look at this. Oh, referee getting on to him, telling him to get back in the ring. Midsection. Oh, and he takes him down. The, <laughs> the referee. In harm's way, getting caught with the crossbody, and the hair gone going outside for a, what, a steel chair. He can't risk a disqualification in this match. He drops the steel chair. The referee's got his eye on it. Referee wisely getting rid of the chair, throwing it through the middle ropes. Keep on suplex, though. Paragon getting fired up here. He wants revenge for what the judge did at Survivor Series. Paragon again. Look at this. We does press the judge staying on top of the action here. Spinning hook it misses by the Paragon. Oh my god, there it is. Fist of the gods. That uppercut will do it to you every time. Fist drop, taking him down. Counters the judge in the corner. Oh! Pulls through to a Kimura armbar. The judge getting to the ropes, barely. Close line from the judge. Nice. Fighting back, though, the Paragon drop kick. Picking him up something big here. It says the judge counters. DDT dropping the Paragon the hard way. Off the ropes. Small and drop by the judge. Building some momentum now. Blue does press again. Paragon's getting frustrated. See it on his face. He's getting frustrated. Look at this. Counters the judge. Oh, and an arm breaker. Double boot stomps him right across the midsection. The judge, though, back to his feet with some fighting spirit. T-bone suplex throws him down again. Oh, it's just the Paragon goes to the top. Oh, and he misses a moonsault from the top rope. Crashing down hard. Look at this. Oh, no. And he drops him down right across the boot. Kicks out, though. The judge unable to put him away with it. Stomping away on the Paragon. Look at this. And another stomp to the face. Going to the pin again. A little desperation from the judge. T-Bone suplexes him again in the center of the ring. Wrenches the arm. Goes behind. Drop kick from the judge. Nice. Paragon. What's this going to be? Oh. Catches the ropes and holds on. Oh, and a dragon suplex. Outside of the ring, and this fight continues. How did the judge even get back up from that suplex? Shot to the chest, and a big boot to the temple. Crossbody misses the judge, shrugging it off. The judge to the top rope, what's this? Counter. Oh, catches the crossbody. Follow slam on the judge. The judge is in bad shape here. Oh, but Facebuster getting back into it again. 
You can't put the Paragon away. This is not the same Paragon we saw. Oh, and there's another uppercut. This is not the same Paragon. And look at this. The Paragon's clutch. The Paragon's clutch right now in the center of the ring. The judge has nowhere to go, but he's fighting out of it. This is not the same Paragon we saw at Survivor Series. This man is focused tonight. He wants to inflict punishment on the judge. Misses the running elbow. Judge waving him on into the ropes. Oh, and back body drop down goes the Paragon. What's this? Oh, Judge right into those ring steps. The Paragon moving the steps out of the way. What's left of him? Look at this. Oh, my God. Into the ring post. And look at this. He can't do this. He can't do this to the Judge. He can get disqualified for something like this. Oh, a big boot. Big boot to the ring post. And that might be all for the Judge. The Paragon with a steel chair. Steel chair wedging it over the, behind the referee's back. The referee did not see that. Look at this. Oh, and the judge face first again. The judge kicks out at two. What is this? Oh, Samoan drop. Samoan drop from the judge. What a matchup this is. This is not even our main event. Look at this. D to the judge. Paragon's down. So the ring two count. Oh, my God. Over the ropes, drop kick down goes the judge to the floor again. Misses the crossbody, the judge. Oh, and Paragon hits the other side of the ring steps. Picks him up, judgment slam on the concrete. That's got to be all for the Paragon. The judge can't pin him out there. He can put him a count out, but he cannot pin him as the referee continues to count on them both getting the ring. Side Russian leg suit countered by the judge. To the outside. Oh, this is a diving knee drop. Oh, and a drop kick there. The judge is in big trouble. Big trouble. Look at this. Oh, running knee to the face. Rolling over center ring. No for the judge to go. Look. Paragon's clutch. One more time. This is going to be it. Oh, no. The judge. The judge center the ring. Ow, oh, the judge is forced to tap out. To the Paragon's clutch here after a big win at Survivor Series. The judge submits to the Paragon on Raw. And the Cluminati has to be rejoicing backstage over this. The judge falls hard to the Paragon. Look at this action. Judgment slam on the concrete floor. That should have been it for the Paragon. We'll see this knee one more time. Oh. And there's the Paragon Clutch. Nowhere for the judge to go. Center of the ring. So many men have fallen to that submission hold. We prepared for our next matchup of the evening here tonight. There we go. They're already going at it. Right back in the commercial break. Ryan Osweil and Jeremy Glass and these two men hate each other. There is so much bad blood between these two. Ryan Osweil has been a permanent roadblock in Jeremy Glass and trying to get back at Ryan Jones for what happened in Night of Champions. The Cluminati serving their purpose and Deflecting all incoming, all incoming rage at the extreme icon, or some know him the architect of the Illuminati. Neck breaker from German Glass on the floor, and this match is just breaking down. Oh, Lupez press! Ryan Osborne sticking it to him. Big clothesline. Now goes German Glass and misses that one. Look at this. Oh, into the barricade. We're coming back. Why not? This is the big boot. Oh, there's a big belly match two plus there by German Glasson. Now some strikes outside of the ring. Look at this. And this match is no disqualifications as Ryan Osmo grabs that crutch. Oh, man. Lay him out. No DQs. This match is going to break down very quickly. Glasson pulls the feet. What's he going for? 
Nice Mongolian chop there. Overhead chop. And look at this. Ryan Asriel. Just whipping him around by the hair. Oh, and the stop to the face. Ryan Asriel with the ring bell. German Glasson looking for something of his own. Oh, no. Ring bell. Oh, right to the back of the neck. What a crippling blow and Glass is laid out. Big clothesline from Jeremy Glass. A nice leaping clothesline there. Into the ropes. Glass is back up. Look at this. Fighting with a steel chair. Oh, low knee to the stomach. Kitchen sink. Now Ryan Oswald just cleaning out. Look at this. Steel chair, another steel chair. Knee, oh, he landed on that steel chair from that knee to the stomach. Glasson's in a world of hurt here. Oh, another steel chair shot. And throwing the chair at him again. Caught that one. Back elbow. Ryan Asriel's having none of this from Jeremy Glasson. Oh, he eats the ring post, though. Look at this. No. An iron claw vice grip on the back of the head. Stomp to the face. Oh my goodness. Back elbow again. What's this going to be? Glass and wrenching the arm. Counter shot. Oh, nice shoulder block. And it looks like the steel chair is the weapon of choice for this match. Both men just fighting over whatever one they can get their hands on. Hip toss by German Glassing over the pin. Not even a two count. Takes more than that to defeat Ryan Osriel. Man, it's been in some wars here in ECW. Look at this. Oh, and an elbow drop to the inside of the leg. Glassing also has to be a little bit scorned for the fact that Ryan Osriel in the Paragon of Wrestling not only took the titles away from Cameron Edwards, Kyle Parks' his former allies in the order of raw power. He also might have retired Cameron Edwards. We've yet to hear more about his injury he sustained in that match. He was put through two tables by the Paragon of Wrestling. A big splash off the turnbuckle through two tables. What's this going to be? Going behind. Counter. Look at that steel chair. Oh! And Ryan Eisenberg coming down hard on it. Look at this. Elbow drop by Jeremy Glasson. Ryan Asriel, oh, face full of steel. Look at this. Face crusher on the steel chair. And Glasson looking for some offense. They're going to lift him up for the go to sleep. Knee to the face. That's it. That's it for Ryan Asriel. One, two, kicking out. And a big slap across the face. And Glasson, a little desperate here, going for another pin. Soothsayer! Soothsayer, middle of the ring, out of nowhere. Ryan Asriel going to the outside looking for something else. Another steel chair, what has he got in mind? Oh, a table. A table now coming into play. Misses a drop kick on Jeremy McGlasson. Look at this, strapping DT lays him out. One. Oh my god, Ryan Asriel out of one. Big boot, misses. With us press. Jeremy McGlasson is a bloody mess right now, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you can see this angle or not, but Jeremy McGlasson has just been beaten to hell in this match. And he's still fighting through it all. What's he going for? A baseball bat. Is that, oh my god, right over the head. Is that even legal? Oh, and another shot from Ryan Osriel. Back elbow. Jeremy McGlasson is really, I think, underestimated the power of Ryan Osriel in this matchup here tonight. Look at this. Sends him back under the ropes. Ryan Osriel rolls to the other side. Can't find what he's looking for under the ring. That table is now in play. Close line. McGlasson only gets a two and a half. Kicks to the midsection. Ryan Osriel felt all of those. Under the bottom rope, table coming into play again. 
throw a steel chair to the face. Jeremy McGlasson in a lot of trouble here. Look at this. Soothsayer, that's got to be all. But he's not done. Oh, and another steel chair. Ryan Osborne is just intent on destroying Jeremy McGlasson here tonight. Well, that could be our co-main event. Look at this. Picking him up for another. Go to sleep. Oh, no. Ryan Osborne goes down. But he's unable to finish McGlasson. He's unable to finish the soothsayer. He just pulls the legs for the Boston Crab. Nice maneuver there. Going for the submission on Jeremy McGlasson. Unable to submit him. McGlasson says, no way in hell. Table getting set up center of the ring. Oh, no. Ryan Osborne bounced off the ropes and caught the edge of that table unexpectedly. What's this going to be set into the top rope? Counter. Oh, counter back. And look at this. There's more fists just opening that wound further. Osborne outside the ring with that ladder now. What's this? Throwing it over the top rope. Dangerous. Oh, McGlasson hits the still ring steps. This match just dragging on now. Oh! Reverie cannot stop this match under any circumstances until one man submits or is pinned for a three count. Into the ring post. McGlasson counters. Elbow to the back side of the head. Look at this. Strapping DT. Oh, no. And Ryan Osborne's busted open from it. On the floor, one, two, three, Jeremy McGlasson picks up the victory, counters, look like he was going to get driven in that ring post a second time, oh my god, what a comeback here for Jeremy McGlasson. Look at these replays, what a match. What a night it's been here on Raw, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for tuning in again. You see the blood still on Jeremy McGlasson's face after that war between him and Ryan Osriel. Surely we're going to see more of that. But now it's time for our World Heavyweight Championship Steel Cage match. McNasty Bones invoking his rematch clause against Kyle Cross. There you see the new champion. Proud Chicago win. The innovation demonstration. Kyle Cross. The underdog. The dark horse of the triple threat match of Survivor Series. Walking out with the biggest prize in all of ECW. That shoulder right there in his hand. Or that belt, excuse me. That little shoulder in his hand. Ladies and gentlemen, take a moment to let you know that the action continues live right after this on ECW Network. Don't miss NXT's main event. Should be some exciting matchups. Follow Raw on main event. Don't miss it. Here comes the psychotic, the deranged, the insane. Tyrant of the Kuminati, the Nasty Bones. You know what man even comes through the ring with a chainsaw? That's not even legal. You can't use that in a wrestling match. This is the man who broke Sam Monroe's neck in a one-on-one -on -one match. He's tried injuring Kyle Parks before. He orchestrated the attack to take Mike Giacchino down after Mike Giacchino lost the Hardcore Championship. Removed Kyle Cross from the Kluminati, single-handedly, and tried burning AJ Hawks alive in an Inferno match. I mean, what kind of man is this? Who would even get into a steel cage with him? Oh, Kyle Cross counter face plants him with a flapjack right into the steel cage. Kyle Cross is not afraid of any tyrant. 
Look at this. Oh, nice. Likes your chair drop from behind. I mean, Nasty Moon's fighting here. Sweeps the leg. Nice takedown. This is not your normal cage match, folks. It's not a steel mesh. No chain leak. Those steel bars are unforgiving. We've seen the likes of Tyson Black. Also, Kuminati win the television championship back at Cyber Sunday in one of these types of matches. I mean, there's no give. It. Oh, that's Northern Light Suplex there from Kyle Cross. There's no give like that right there as he bounced face first off the cage. I mean, nothing stops you when you go face first into that steel. You just bounce off of it unforgivingly. Look at this. Counter by Kyle Cross. Pick it up for a suplex. Holding the suplex on the tyrant. Overhead. Nice vertical stalling suplex there. You see the pain shooting through his body from the impact. Kyle Cross. Dominant. Look at this. Cross kick. Oh my god. That might be it. Counter goes behind. Belly to belly. And he's calling for it. Can he hit the Kyle driver on him? There it is. Kyle driver. That's it. That is it. One, two, and the tire kicks out. To the ropes. Counter. Nice forearm shot. Kyle Cross still fighting, though. There's a shoulder block taking him down. Russian leg sweep. Down goes the tyrant. One, two, only a two count. Kick to the back of the knee. Look at this. Shrugs him off. Oh, no, boots to the face. Kick to the midsection. Roll through. One, two. Two count. Almost had him there. That's how he eliminated AJ Hawks to become the champion. It was a counter into a schoolboy pin. Look at this. Oh, Tyrant's breath. Poison miss right to the face, blinding Kyle Cross. Oh no, he drives you to the steel cage again. Go for the pin. One, two. Barely able to get out. The tyrant is looking a little worse for wear. Maybe still feeling the effects. Look at this. Oh, cross kick again. And this is still going to go. Oh, Kyle Driver. One more time. One, two, three. Oh, he kicked out again. What is going on in this? Oh, DT. Oh my god, what a matchup this has been. And another spine buster. The tyrant is saying this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Countered by Kyle Cross. Larry to the back of the head. One, two, kicks out. Goes behind. Russian leg sweep. They're going to take us right up to the end of this broadcast in this main event match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, the third Kyle driver down goes to the tyrant. One, two, Three, and that looks like that's it. Kyle Cross with his first successful title defense the night after becoming champion here. Oh my god, what a match that was. You see the replays in the aftermath. Three Kyle drivers it took to end the tyrant tonight. Including anybody's ball game, and that's all we have, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes this broadcast of ECW. Monday Night Raw on the ECW Network. Thank you all for tuning in. You all have a good night. And we'll see you next time for a main event right here on the ECW Network. Be safe out there and have a good one, folks.